Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, Silent Hunter 4, and we've got a new boat. Yes, indeed. We've got USS Salmon, SS 182, the Salmon herself. The boat that the class was named after. Fantastic. So, one of the improvements we've seen with the Salmon, she's got four aft torpedo tubes. No extra room for um, torpedoes. But she's uh, prickly at both ends now. I mean, properly prickly at both ends. She had uh, two tubes on the, the rear one, the previous boat we had. But this one is going to be a lot better. Um, well, I hope it is anyway. So, all our new hope resides with the USS Salmon. Um, we've got Mark 14 torpedoes, which so far, touch wood, have not been terrible. They have not lived up to their historic challenges. Um, we've had a couple of duds, a couple of premature explosions en route to the target, um, but nowhere near as bad as they were <laughs> in real life. So, uh, touch wood, you know, I've probably just cursed us now. They'll all be, this, this group will all be uh, duds, so we'll have a horrible time of it. But, um, it's 26th of August, 1942. Let's find out where we're heading on our new mission orders. To Buck O'Hare, USS Salmon, SS 182. Depart on September the 19th, 1942. We've got a month to get our ship ready. Well, not quite a month. Proceed to area E8 and engage in anti shipping operations within the designated area in the Java Sea for five days. Okay, we're going to the Java Sea. Okay, here we go then. 19th of September, I believe. Yes, it is. Uh, we're heading out in the USS Salmon. Um, and you can see it's a, it's a few changes to the boat since our previous one, the USS Plunger. Um, the deck gun is no longer on the rear deck. No, that's been moved forward and is just in front of the conning tower like a, like a standard U-boat setup. So, I do feel a little bit lonely. None of my crew have come to decide to go on to watch. Maybe I need to get the watch crew up. Uh, we're still in um, friendly waters. Um, Pearl Harbor is just over yonder horizon somewhere. Um, but yeah, we've got a bit of a, a sail. Not as far as we've had to do in previous times. But yeah, a bit of sail up to the Java Sea. Where we'll, um, we'll start our hunting. Okay, we've just dived down. Enemy aircraft is in the area. We are just coming into the Java Sea now, into our patrol zone. Um, we're just doing a sweep on the hydrophone to see if we can hear anything as we're underwater. Guessing that's a negatory. Um, yeah, everything's okay so far. Making mission manual for that. Yeah. Lovely detail in here, isn't it? Anything? Yes, sir. Sweeping. Still, still sweeping. Let's have a go, shall we? Let's um, yes, sir. come slow down. Ahead one third. Wait for the noise to stop. That's our own engines. So no, it seems to be all clear for the moment. So what we'll do, we'll have a look on the um, observation periscope to see if it's all clear from the uh, aircraft going over. And if it is, then we'll surface and we'll we'll move into a different area. Um, what well, one thing we can do? Uh, oh, let's move. Oh, everything's different ways. So there's there's the um, the contacts. Oh, weather report. Cup of coffee. <laughs> Lovely. Um, where's me? Uh, see, a new boat. Everything's different. What's my damage control? 
Oh, I love this. I didn't. I thought it would be the same interior, but it's not. Because normally I'd clip up there to get my maps. But I don't do that now. Hello. How are you doing? All right, there's, that's what I'm looking for. Right, so um, let's have a look on the map. There's Bali and Java there. So Java here. So we're we're literally yeah we should be. We should be bang in where the this this large purple survived to the end of the war hostilities uh, large convoy was. Japanese air cover. So we're still this is the blue line going around here. It's on 1945. So yeah, we're smack bang in the middle, but you, as you can see, we've come through the Lombok straight here, past Bali, and we're now squeaking into where we're going to patrol. I think this is maybe where that convoy route goes, and that's why they've sent us here, just here. Cool. And a quick look around on the periscope, popped onto the attack periscope rather than the observation one but it should all be good all right i think we're clear nothing obvious in the skies yeah surface the boat bring us up and we'll start charging on the surface see if we can use the radar to find anything Okay, we found a couple of ships. Now these are just like small cargo ships, fishing vessels type thing. But what they might do is give our position away to uh, the Imperial Japanese Navy. So, battle stations, time to test this new deck gun out. Let's get some high explosives loaded. Uh, probably about a thousand yards. Fire. Oh, ho, 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 we've demastered her in one shot. Wow. Okay. Drop that down a bit. That went beyond. There we go. I think that one is, um, wow. That one's toast. Where's this other one? Let's say this is purely to stop them reporting on our location. Good hit, mid mid ships. Good hit down by the um, the waterline there. Oh, there we go. I think she's gone. Well, I say I think she's gone. I don't think they have gone actually, have they? That's as far as the the gun will swivel. Um, so there's a small fishing boat for 200 tons. I think that could be this one. That one looks like something. The other one is still going strong. Alright, let's um, secure the, uh, the deck gun. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. Yeah, so I think that one's gone. That one might still be there. We've got a 50 cal. Sometimes this is all that's needed.
Wow, that fishing vessel is really going up. I don't want to waste... There's so many aircraft here, I don't want to waste my um, 50 cal. So maybe I'll turn the boat a little bit. See if we can get the deck gun to uh, get one more shot into that other vessel. Okay, we can get the gun over there now. She's sailed on a bit. Should we say 2,000 yards? Let's see how that lands us. Right, so this wave goes. 2,000 yards. It's beyond. 1,500. That's beyond as well. So she's not as far as away as you think. Let's go back. 14... 1350. It's still too long. Boom. Right on the money. Slightly wider the mark. Oh, that's going wider the mark as well. Oh, she's been a bit of a devil, this one. Boom! There she goes. That's her done. Taking water and going down. Fantastic. So, confirmation after that epic battle on that September 27th, 1942. Just after 10 past 1 in the afternoon. We sunk a small fishing boat for 200 tons and a junk for 80. <laughs> oh. They're even disparaging about the uh, description of the boat. Right. Stow the deck gun. Good shooting, boys. Our first tonnage in USS Salmon. Nothing really to wait home about, but there we go. Over a couple, a couple hundred tons, and we're off the mark. And there she goes. Last remaining few seconds of that burning junk going down. Beautiful. Right, we'll sail on. And continue our patrol. Okay, we uh, just dived, well, just about in time. They didn't have any bombs with them, thankfully. Um, the 50-inch cal, uh, two 50-inch cal, and a 3-inch gun have been uh, damaged. Obviously, need a bit of repairs. How are the crew? Um, are those guys okay? Let's have a look at um, health. Yeah, there's a couple. Of, yeah, these guys. They're, they've obviously been uh, maybe slightly wounded. That could be, I don't know, scrambling down the ladders or something. And they've hurt themselves. Yeah, or they could have got a bit of um, ricochet or something from the, the bullets flying just there. But they are alive and they are uh, okay. So we'll get them treated and they should be fine. In the meantime, we're just diving down. Um, we'll alter course a little bit so uh, we can try and get away from this uh, pair of uh, recon aircraft they're probably going to be patrolling around this spot for a little while I wonder if they got a radio message from the uh, one of the the two ships that we just sunk and that is why we sink them so they don't give our position away they obviously had time to give our position away Five zero aircraft spotted. Long range, right? Periscope depth. We have been constantly harassed by this. These aircraft controlling the sea. There they are. What well, are we going to get down in time? Flank speed.
Whew, we narrowly avoided, avoided some um, uh, damage there. My goodness me. They dropped their bombs, but they were wide of the mark, thank heavens. So we're diving down to periscope depth now. Four zero, good. Right, we should be prote protected for the time being, but my goodness, yeah, there's so many aircraft out to get us. Haven't seen any shipping since we saw those uh, fishing boats the other day, but um, yeah, it's um, it was yesterday, in fact, yeah, now the 28th of September. So we're going to continue on our patrol, hopefully avoiding more of these um, close calls with the enemy fighters and bombers. It's just not no real point tangling with them, you know. Unfortunately, by the time you spot them and the time you dive, they're literally on top of you if they've seen you. Um, so it's a bit of cat and mouse whether or not you get away with it. But, um, yeah. Then again, sitting on the surface and trying to duke it out with them is also not a great strategy. That's if you get caught out. You've got no option is to hop on the gun. But, um, yeah, we're going to try and avoid them as best we can. Hi, welcome back everyone. Um, merchants have been spotted there. Looks like a sampan and maybe another small sail vessel. Well, I have to say, there's not much else out here at the moment apart from aircraft. So, um, <laughs> let's go and engage. What the hell? Keeps the crew sharp, if nothing else. Okay, here we are. Manning the deck gun. There's our targets up there. They reckon 100 and... well... 1500? Well, probably 1300 yards. Not sure. Let's go to 1500. Give them a warning shot. Heave to. Strike your colours. Although they're not a warship. does not mean that they won't suffer the same fate. A little bit more range on the gun, I think. Just trying to get... Oh, that went over. Okay, we must be hitting the sail. Boom. She is a light. It's not that it's kind of like fires that they can put out. You wait, you know, you know when it's a fire that they can't put out, it becomes thick black smoke and um, internal explosions and all that kind of good stuff. All the stuff we look for. Right, she's burning. Let's switch our attentions to this one. Can we fire through the uh, this front section there? Yeah, we can. Good. Demastered. Another mast gone and sail. There we go, completely demastered now. She should be dead in the water. Now uh, send a board. Oh, and that one's just exploded and gone. Fantastic. So we've um, stripped this one of all her pulsion. But she still seems to still seems to be moving. Maybe she's got some diesel engines, an outboard motor or something. There we go. Put a couple of shots onto the uh, the hull, and she she can't be long for this world. No, indeed. Right, so the deck gun, another two quick kills. Um, it's vital that they didn't report our position, so. We'll see if any enemy aircraft come in the next few seconds. Right, welcome back everyone. Right, nothing much more, just those sampans and fishing boats that we've seen. Um, here you go, confirmation. It's now the 2nd of October, 1942. 
our mission has been completed. We've done our five day patrol in E8 in the Java Sea. So um, I guess we report back. Uh, our mission complete. A message back to HQ and and see if they uh, give us a new um, a new mission. Um, there we go. Status report at um, 1618 on the 2nd of October 1942. USS Salmon position. There we go. Hope that it wasn't intercepted. Torpedoes left 22. Cargo ship sunk 4. Total tonnage 440 tons. Mission complete. Uh, USS Grouper. Uh, she's sunk a Tone Maru or Tone Maru cargo ship. 4,070 tons been reported. Um, USS Trout has sunk a, a Koei Maru X net tender for 863 tons and an unknown Maru cargo for 2,900 tons. Yeah. USS Nautilus sunk a Tozi Maru cargo for 2,500. There you go. Well, there we go. Hopefully, we'll get uh, maybe some. Oh, we. Proceed directly to E8 and stand by for further orders. Okay, we're here, so we've completed that. So, expect some new orders to come any moment. New uh, message received. New message received. There we go. Didn't take long. Um, right. Engage and destroy enemy enemy shipping. Brilliant. We got a free reign. I think that I read that as. So um, happy days. Um, so. Um, with that order in mind, I've um, changed course and we're heading north. We're heading up to the Makassar Strait, uh, the Salibi Sea. Just a, that's where we saw a lot of the um, the shipping last time. So I thought we'd go back up there, see if we can see any more cruisers or battleships moving between the uh, the islands, uh, and hopefully score some real points for our logbook. Yeah, these little small merchant ships or these sampans and stuff, well, they're not really worth the bother. They're okay, just to keep the deck gun um, crews eye in, but um, nothing more really. We're not going to set the world on fire with sinking them. They're not going to make a real difference. If we can get some proper merchants, uh, some oilers, and military ships as well, get some real nice heavy destroyers and cruisers, yeah, we'll be, we'll be delighted with uh, sinking those, but at the moment, it's just a bit embarrassing sinking these little diddy ships. Um, nothing that you'd really be proud of. Uh, so we're going to sail up there and hopefully find something a little bit more worthy. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we are sailing and it's the most beautiful sunset. Absolutely beautiful. See the uh, land there, yes, you've got some islands. And um, just over here, around this sort of peninsula, there is a port. And I thought, seeing as it's a little quiet out here on the, uh, on the ocean, or in the sea, there's uh, a good chance that most of the ships are hiding in port. Now, as the sun is going down, that gives us plenty of opportunity to sneak in under the cover of darkness. Um, Undoubtedly, they'll probably have some coastal guns defending the port. Maybe even a corvette or or destroyer protecting the port. But it's definitely worth popping in, sneaking under the water, sliding in, and maybe taking a couple of um, torpedo shots at stationary merchants. Uh, we haven't done much at the moment in terms of damage to the merchant shipping. So um, yeah, anything we can do would be a great bonus you know what we do not want is it to go on and on and on before we get a decent uh, haul of tonnage otherwise I'll start to think this is a cursed boat <laughs> things like that spread really quick so as the Sun slips beneath the uh, the horizon uh, we're gonna set sights on that port over there Right, up on the periscope then, to the lighthouse over there, 
cranes, factories, loads of stuff. Tree, more cranes, chimney. Um, the one thing it does not appear to have is the one thing it is really here to service. And that's shipping. There's no ships here. Well, I never. I've never known a port not to have a ship before. Hmm. Okay. Um. There's no nooks and crannies where one could possibly be hiding. So we either got horrendous timing, or this port is not in use currently. Lighthouse is is active, so you'd think there's still shipping moving in the area. Anyway, um, seems like a busted flush, so let's, um, my great idea is a waste of time, let's um, back out of this and head back to the sea. Periscope depth. Okay, I think we may have just struck something submerged in the water. It's caused a bit of damage. Um, oh no. One more toggle up of the hull damage. That's all it. We were 24, we're now 25. So I don't know if we just hit a large fish or something and it's caused a bit of damage, but there's nothing, no system wise or flooding is being reported yet. As you can see, we seem to have a bit of a, a pressure valve or something has gone. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, we've got one over here as well. Yeah, can we get. Um, Engineering on this, we've got a bit of a leak coming through, um, but yeah, nothing much to worry about. So um, yeah, we're going to continue on. We seem to be unperturbed by everything, so yeah, let's um, yeah, make sure we got our damaged patrol team. Yeah, they're here; they've got nothing to do. So okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We'll um, we'll leave it for now. Ah. Well, the one over here probably has been fixed. That one's been fixed. That's where the noise is coming from. And then we got that one. Let's have a look at the periscope. Um, anything to report? We're going to leave the port behind us. Maybe one of their deck guns spots us another shot, but I thought it would be more damage if the. Sorry, coastal guns, not deck guns. Yeah. Anything sailing in or out of the harbour? Anything on the horizon? Go on, give us something. No. Anyway, we'll, we'll we'll continue to trundle away from here and hopefully not hit anything else submerged. And um, get out of dodge. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we've all made it all the way to October the thirteenth. Not lots happened, I'll be honest. Um. But we've just picked up a contact, which we've turned to Chase. Now, it's reported as a Japanese or an Imperial Japanese warship. There it is on there. Now, what do you think that is? A small corvette? An armed trawler, perhaps? No, what that is is a conning tower and that I believe is a Japanese submarine so what we're doing we will man the deck gun and we will see if we can sink her I could be hopelessly wrong and that could be the top of the infrastructure of a destroyer and then we'll be absolutely murderized but no I am I am confident that is a conning tower Right, there she is. So is she a C3? Yeah, she's not that kind of... Right, I think she might be... Possibly one of those. In which case... She's got some guns on there. Not one of those, not one of those. No. Possibly. In which case she's got two deck guns. Hmm. It 
could be outmanned here. Uh, sorry, outgunned here. Maybe we could set an intercept because they haven't spotted us. Okay, we've just had another watch. There is potentially another sub at 310 degrees. Uh, we got a couple of Japanese subs here. Move in quickly. <laughs> Dropping. Got a hit. Fire again. And they are putting up star shells, which is probably just making it slightly easier for me. Bless you. They probably spotted us now. Is that one more star shells going up? Another hit. Fire. Another sub there. Is she moving into Oh oh yeah, no, no, that could have been the uh, the guns going off on on the other sub. I thought that was me getting another strike, but no. We're, a bit we're coming up a little bit short now. There we go. I never thought I'd be having a uh, duke out with a oh that's a good hit. With a uh, with another submarine. I wasn't on the cards this morning. Uh, we've got to put this one's moving in. This one's moving in. Let's see if we can uh, have a few pops at this one. It's closing, closing in. He's really thin and silhouetted, so it's difficult to see him. He's there. Looks like he's coming directly for us. Might be a little bit worried that he's going to fire torpedoes. I'm not going to lie. That is a concern. Hoping we can get him before he gets to us. Change his mind. There we go, good hits. Closing in. Closing in very quickly. Oh, he's turning fire. It's a horrible sound. Oh, this is this is proper high high stakes dueling. We're getting some good hits into him. He can't sustain this amount of pain. He stopped firing. I think he's dead. We're going to compile his misery, though. His his engines are still going. Is he going for a ram? Thanks be dead. This is not something you thought you'd see today, is it? Duking submarines. Try and knock their engine out.
Alright, there they are. Break their bridge with small arms, well, 50 cal. I think she's done for. Can't even get the gun down to her. She's diving. That's probably a death throes rather than anything else. Um, we can get the 50 cal onto her though. Uh, I doubt she's diving away. No! There we go. A Sen Taka die type fast submarine. But no time to uh, enjoy that. The other one has spotted us and he is engaging. More. Alright, two shells inbound. Boom! Hit on the waterline. Beautiful. Fire! Shells whizzing over our heads. He's outgunning us two to one, but we're getting some. We've got our range. We've ambushed them. We've caught them out. And our uh, rearm speed is um, superior thanks to our trained gun crews. Right, flank, flank speed ahead. Oh no, no, flank speed ahead. So we put a couple of torpedoes in the water. Oh my god, they sound horrendous. Oh, just got struck by some um, machine gun fire, I think. Let's continue to. Um, God, I don't like this at all. Trying to hit the rear to so knock her engine out. I don't want to be the first to flinch and dive because um, I think we'd get caught out that way. Going into the bridge. Ouch. Wait, I think they've abandoned ship. Right. They have indeed abandoned ship. There is a, a Japanese sub there. What is that? That's a C3 submarine, 2,000 tons. Look at that. A Santaka Dai, or Dai type fast submarine for 1,290 and a C3 submarine for 2,900. Wow. Well, I didn't think that was going to be on the uh, the books today. Sub hunting in our sub. We'll have to check on the damage now. We've got the sub's crew there. We might go and offer some assistance to uh, another Submariner crew. Um, but yeah, a C3 Japanese submarine sunk. And it looks like the captain is going to go down with his boat. And some of his officers as well. So the C3 slips beneath the waves and um, time to check on the damage. Oh, no real damage for components wise and still 25% um, hull damage. So um, where we were previously with the anti, uh, sorry, the, the air attacks and whatever we hit submerged as well. So um, from that point of view everything looks grand. 
Torpedoes wise, we haven't fired a single one, so we've got a full load of torpedoes. Um, I think this is most definitely worthy of um, sending a report in. Uh, we just sunk two uh, subs. What do you think to that? Eh? 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 There we go. Oh, that's the, that's the old report. Hang on. We get a fresh one. Oh yeah, here we go. 406. Salmon, position, blah 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 blah. Warship sunk two. Total tonnage 3,825 tons. So yeah, there we go. We've confirmed our two sunk subs, which is delightful. So we're out here. And I'll show you where here is. Here we are. We're just near the uh Salibi Sea here. Uh we're gonna continue to patrol around here with a full load of torpedoes uh, renewed vigor after sinking a couple of subs and uh, yeah fingers crossed less aircraft attacking us and more oh, it's land. Uh, and more um, surface vessels so stand down release from so and then secure the watch and the watch go down <laughs> that always happens um, so yeah that's all good so we're gonna continue on but we'll do that again next time thank you so much for watching um, I'm not sure how this will edit down it might only be 20 minutes to with to the the sheer amount of um, patrolling that we've done and very little action but there we go we just friended off with uh, a sub hunter killing two subs right at the end which is fantastic you may never get to do that again so that was grand um, so yeah, we're going to put patrol on, and I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.